Hi, I am Shanna Pizer, Christian Certified Life and Weight Loss Coach. I help women to live life on purpose. Welcome back to the Live on Purpose playlist. I am talking about creating and living life intentionally, live on purpose. What does that mean? So to live on purpose, there has to be a goal. There has to be a destination. There has to be something that we're working toward, right? So living intentionally, living on purpose means we have to decide what we want that to look like. What do we, what is our goal? Who do we want to be? What kind of person do I want to be? That's going to determine what it looks like to live on purpose. If I want to be somebody who lives, lives life by the seat of my pants, I don't care how much I weigh or what size clothes I wear. Um, I don't really care about health. Then living on purpose is just going to be pretty much getting up and doing whatever I feel like. But if that's not what you want, and if you're watching these videos, I assume that is not what you want, then you have a goal in mind. You have an ideal, you have something that you're working towards. And I am here to help you in that. I'm here to encourage you along the way, to give you tools, to give you strategies and practical encouragement along the way. So deciding ahead of time who you want to be, what kind of person you want to be, what goal you're working towards. It's always easiest for me to use weight loss as an example, but I also want to point out and really like a super important thing to point out is when you create intention and you live on purpose in any area of your life. So if you're going to choose weight loss and you're going to purposefully set up parameters and practices and the intention of losing weight As you're doing that, that process, and as you're proceeding through that journey, you're going to notice that living with intention in this one area is going to extend into all areas of your life because how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you are feeling completely out of control with your food, with your exercise, then you're probably feeling out of control in other areas of your life as well. And so putting some intention, some purpose, some living on purpose in one area of your life, just choose one to start with, but doing that intentionally, focusing intentionally on losing weight, getting healthy, that is going to filter into, it's going to bleed into, it's going to permeate the other areas of your life, because how you do anything is how you do everything. So if you tackle weight loss with intention, then you're going to notice that you're more intentional in how your house looks and how you talk to your kids and how you treat your spouse. So pick one area that you really want to focus on and work on, and then you're going to want to decide how, how do I even go about this? What does living on purpose look like for me as I'm working on this area of my life? And you want to make a decision there. If it's weight loss, for instance, my weight loss protocol is number one, get seven or more hours of sleep a night. Number two, drink half my body weight in ounces of water every day. Three, I only eat to satisfy. Okay. The intention is the protocol. I'm not saying that I'm perfect at it. The intention is to only eat to satisfy physical hunger. I wait until I'm hungry before I start eating. And then as I'm eating, I'm paying attention to how my body feels. And I stop eating when my body is satisfied not full, but satisfied. And then 
Number four is I plan my food ahead of time. I want to be intentional about what I'm eating. I'm working on developing trust in myself. Um, so th that's my protocol for weight loss. So those are the things I want to do every single day. Those are the goals every single day. And then I have that set up. And so I get up first thing in the morning, I do my planning, I do my journaling. And then before I do my planning and my journaling, I assess the day before. So how did I do on this goal? How did I do sticking to my plan, drinking the water, getting the sleep and stopping eating when I've had enough or waiting until I'm hungry before I eat. So I assess that every single day. There's a quote, I'm going to totally butcher it right now, but it says that, oh my goodness. What we measure improves greatly. What we measure and report improves exponentially, something along those lines. So what we are measuring, I'm tracking, did I, am I eating? Am, am I stopping at enough? Am I following those four protocols? Those are my protocols. I'm measuring those. I have a habit tracker. I check my habit tracker. And then I also have an accountability group that I check in with every day. So I am record re, I am measuring how I'm doing towards those goals. And I'm also reporting those to my accountability group. And since I have been doing that more consistently, the weight has been coming down. The scale has been, the numbers on the scale have been coming down. So what you measure improves what you measure and report improves exponentially. So what is it that you want to focus on getting more intentional about in your life? In what area do you want to focus living on purpose in? And I say, just focus on one area. It could be your marriage. It could be stopping yelling at your kids. It could be um, getting involved in church, um, whatever it is, reading your Bible, doing your devotions. It can be any of that. Um, what area do you really want to put the focus on to live on purpose and then watch how it infiltrates the other areas of your life? So if you could put in the comments, the area that you want to focus on, that would be awesome. And if you want tips for how to do that, you can go over to my Instagram at coach Shanna P and I have a lot of videos on different topics. If there's not something there, you can absolutely send me a message and ask me about it. I also have a commit to you group coaching program membership. Um, it's actually a community. It's the commit to you group coaching community. And you can click on the link in my website and find out more about that. You can send me a message and ask about that. And it is a community of women coming together to live on purpose in an area of their life, to get encouragement, mentorship, accountability, and to be able to just talk things through on a weekly basis. We have a private Facebook group. So I would love if you are interested in that, send me a message, comment go onto my Instagram, send me a message or sign up on the website. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I am so glad you're here. Please come back. Keep watching the live on purpose video series.